We sing praises to your name. Oh Lord, praises to your name. Oh Lord, for your name is great and worthy to be
let's get into them right now. Sing, I will bless the Lord. Oh, my soul, oh, my soul, and all, and all that is, that is within me, bless his whole, his whole. None like you know where Jesus rain down your spirit, rain down your love, rain down your grace. Oh, we need you, we need you, Jesus. We need the fire to fall from heaven, oh God. Oh, we need you, Jesus. We need you, Jesus. We need you, Jesus. We calling on your name, oh God. Oh, we need you today, oh God. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your grace, oh God. We ask God in this moment, oh God, that you would get the glory, that you would get the victory, that you would get everything that you deserve, oh God, because you deserve our worship. 
You deserve our praise, oh God. You deserve everything we have to give you, Jesus. Oh, you deserve it. 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 You deserve it, oh God. Let us bust through the atmosphere, oh God, so we can touch heaven, oh God. Oh, we need you, Jesus. We need you right here on earth, oh God. We need you right here on Sullivan Circle, oh God. We need you, Jesus. We need you. Oh, we need you. Oh, we need you, Jesus. We need you, God. We shake the weight of the day off, oh God. All of the distractions, we come binding them right now in the name of Jesus, God. That you would give us an open portal to heaven so we can hear God and we can understand so that we can see, oh God, in the name of Jesus. That our hearts will be open, oh God, to receive what it is you have for us tonight, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Give us an encounter that we'll never forget, God. On July 14, 2016, God. We don't want to be forgotten about, oh God. And we don't want to forget about this day, oh God, that you have set aside. For, to, for us to bless us. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, for your hand of safety, oh God. We thank you, God, that the blood of the Lamb remains on our doors, oh God. Hallelujah. Although it may be dried up, oh God, the blood, the death angel still recognizes it. And we thank you for that, oh God. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you tonight, oh God. Give us a tearing power, oh God, that we may begin to tarry and wait on you, God, and understand what your will is, oh God, for us. Oh, we need you, Jesus. We need you, Jesus. We need, thank you, God, that our angels haven't forsaken us, oh God. Thank you, God, that they kept us. They took us to work. They brought us back safely, oh God. Yeah. They took us to various destinations safely, oh God. In the net, thank you that the building was covered with your blood, oh God. That no shooters came in, oh God. No riotous acts, oh God, were performed. In the name of Jesus, even by the employees that are there, oh God. We thank you, God. That a postal spirit didn't break out. We thank you, God, that you're keeping it at bay for us, oh God. Thank you, God, that you kept the hand of the enemy away from us, oh God. Because you said a thousand shall fall at thy side, ten thousand at thy right, but they shall not come nigh. You said the weapon shall be formed, oh God, but it shall not prosper. Oh, and we thank you tonight, oh God. Oh, we thank you tonight for your anointing. Let it dwell with us here, oh God. Let it dwell long enough with us to change us. Hallelujah. To change us from the inside out, oh God. Oh, we thank you tonight, oh God, because that's what we need. We need a change from the inside out, oh God, because that's what a real encounter requires. A change from the inside out. That's what it brings about. It's a change from the inside out. Bless the audience that's listening to us all over the world, oh God, via speaker, oh God. Bless the audience, oh God, that, are, that that's here tonight, oh God. Bless the angels, oh God, that come in the tune with us, oh God, so that they can hear God and report back to heaven. Oh, we thank you tonight, oh God. Hallelujah. We need your presence, oh God. We need you, God, to wake us up where we may be asleep, oh God. We need you, God, to make us alert, God, where we may be unalert, oh God. We need you to alarm us, oh God. We need you to turn our ears on, God. Really the alarm in our ears so that we can hear that we they may not be remain sleeping but we may be found in you oh god oh yes god. oh god we need you god we don't want to be found sleep oh god daniel said i don't want to be found sleep wake me up so i can be in the will of the father wake me up so i can do what he's called me to do wake me up so i can hear his voice wake me up oh god wake us up oh god wake us up in the church Wake us up in the world. Wake us up, oh God. Wake up the sons and the daughters. Shake us again, oh God. Shake us up, oh God, so that we can be meet and fit for the master's use, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, because that's what we need to be. We need to be fit for your use, oh God. And so make us fit in the name of Jesus. Wake us up, shake us up, stir us up, oh God. Hallelujah. Put a, put a, put a heart for righteousness in us, oh God. Hallelujah. Said so that we may, turn, we, we, we may not turn away from you, oh God, but we may stay with you, oh God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we thank you. We give you glory. Oh, hallelujah. We sing praises to your name, oh God, for your name is great and it's greatly to be praised, oh God. Others may call on Buddha. Others may call on Muhammad, but we call on the one true living God, the God of Israel. We call on your name because you're the one that can help us. You're the one that can deliver. You're the one that can 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 stop the violence, oh God. Yes, God. You're the one that can bring the violence to you. You said, I'm the great and I'm the terrible God. And we thank you. We reverence both tonight. Oh, we thank you, God. 
Oh, we thank you, God, tonight. Oh, we thank you, God, tonight. Give us a drink from Jacob's wealth tonight, oh God, and refresh us, oh God. Quench the thirst with the everlasting water, oh God, that only comes from heaven. Oh, we need you tonight, oh God. We need you, God. The songwriter said, if we ever needed you, God, it's now, God. They wrote that about four years ago, God, but it's still relevant, God. We still need you, God. We still need you, God. We still need you, God. We still need you. If we ever needed you, God, it's now, God. Show up and show out, oh God. And let us know it's you, oh God. Let us not mistake you for anything else. Let us not mistake you for racism. Let us not mistake you for hatred, oh God. Let us not mistake you, oh God, for violence. Let us not mistake you, oh God, for being good. God, because you said I'm the great and the terrible God. So terrible things could happen in your hand, oh God. Oh yeah, no more shot now. Your, your, your best is our worst. Hallelujah. You, you use who you want to use. Hallelujah. And if you can, you can use anything, oh God, use us. Right. Hallelujah. Make us fit for your use, oh God. If we're not fit, let us know so we can get fit. Hallelujah, in Jesus' name. We thank you, God. Be our personal trainers. We need you to be our personal trainers, oh God, so you can get us in shape, oh God. Stretch out the arms where they need to go, God. Stretch out the legs where they need to go, oh God. Put muscles in the back up so we can carry. Oh, my God. Oh, we need you, God. Hallelujah. Strengthen our core, God, and strengthen our frame, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. We come to get a drink tonight. We come to get a drink tonight. We come to get a drink tonight, oh God. We come to be refreshed tonight, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we come to be refreshed tonight, oh God. And we need you to refresh us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We need you to strengthen us, oh God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We need you to quench the thirst that lies within, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Because you put it there so you know how to quench it. Hallelujah. You know what beverage we need. Oh, we thank you, God, tonight. And we give your name, the honor, the praise, and all of the glory. Oh, in Jesus' name, we thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you. We need a drink tonight, oh God. So pour, pour, pour it out on us, oh God. Hallelujah. Spring up from the well, oh day spring. Ah, yet on the post day. Oh, we need a drink tonight. We need a drink tonight, oh God. We need a drink tonight, oh God. When all else fails, oh God, we can always depend on you. Oh yeah, na 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 masata. Through every test, through every trial, we can always depend on you. And we thank you, God, for being a dependable God. Yes. Thank you for being somebody we can depend on, we can lean on, God. You yes, said you're the rock of our salvation. You're the rock of ages, oh God. You never die. You never get tired. You never get weak. You never sleep. You never slumber. Oh God of Israel. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. Whew, thank you, God, tonight. Speak, God. Speak to us. Speak to thank us. Thank you, Jesus. Speak to us and strengthen us. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So, John chapter 4. We there. This blessed me all day today because I need a drink. I need a drink. And if you know what needing a drink is like, you'll know what I mean when you when you when I say I need a drink of the living water, the the the, the one that that I'll I'll thirst no more when I when I get some of that water. I, I won't have to ask for anything else. I just need a drink and I need the spring to open up with me so that I can spring just 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 overflow because the spring allows you to overflow. If you look at the the handout tonight, it's one judge four. John 4, 1 through 42. It's a it's a lot of reading, but 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 who cares? Amen. We we need to understand what the Lord was saying in here. We need to understand what He's talking about in here. I've been looking at this for weeks now, and I just begin to get into revelation about needing a drink and, and how you can be fulfilled and what that means to, to, to really need a drink. So we want to look at some unfinished business here in the beginning. Chapter 4. Chapter four and ask the Lord to do some things in our Bible study. So don't be surprised uh, 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 what he does do, what he comes for, because that's how he does it. And I, I appreciate that that kind of God that we serve Four says that that Jesus talks with the Samaritan woman. I don't know what the, the subtitle in your Bible says, but this is what happens. It says now Jesus learned that the Pharisees had 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 heard 
that he was gaining and, 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 and baptizing more disciples than John. And although, in fact, it was not Jesus who baptized, but his disciples, so he left. It was not Jesus that baptized, it was his disciples. It wasn't him. It wasn't him. It wasn't even him, but the Pharisees. You see how people just talk, and they just talk about things that they don't even know. Mm -hmm. They talk about things that they think. They talk, I want to show you how, what, how, what, what, what was probably in the mind of the Savior at that point. They talk about things that they don't even know. They talk about things that they think are going on because they knew he had that capacity to do. But it wasn't even him. It was, it was, it was the disciples, as you see. See, I, I, I wanted to point out here, do you ever get tired of the talk? Dude, come on, because we get, I get tired of people talking about what they don't know. It's not that they're talking about me. You're talking about what you don't know, right? Right, here. right, right. So right. I'm going to need for you to just be quiet. And so, and so only when you're doing the right thing, though, because people only talk about you when you're doing the right thing. When you're doing the wrong thing, that's when you really, when they, they talk about you when you're doing the wrong thing, but they don't talk about you as much when you're doing the wrong thing as they do when you're doing the right thing. Right. Because they don't understand what, what's right. Because it's not right in their eyes. It's not for them to understand. He's about the father's business. You're about the father's business. Right. Period. Point blank. And so when you look at this, so he left you there and went once, went back once more to Galilee. That tells me that Jesus had unfinished. It, it says he went back once more. I'm reading the NIV here. Mm -hmm. He says he went back once more to Galilee here. Mm -hmm. See, well, it, 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 he, he got mm -hmm. tired of all this. Just let me get away from all of this just for a minute. I've got some unfinished business anyway. But, mm -hmm. but, 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 but let me just go back to, 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 to Galilee one more time. Mm -hmm. And so now it says that, that he had to go through Samaria. I'm, I'm trying to get back to Galilee, but I have to go through Samaria. Did you, are you looking at the journey here, the journey that Jesus took? And so he says, so he came to a town in Samaria called Sychar, near the plot of ground that had given, uh, near the plot of ground Jacob had given to Joseph, his, to, his, to his son Joseph. And they called this plot Jacob's well, and, and, and that was there. And Jesus, tired as he was from his journey, did you see that Jesus was, what does it say? Tired. He was tired, tired. from the journey. Uh -huh. I, I, I need a drink. Do did, did you, did you see that? See, this is more than about the woman. Jacob's well, I, I want to I wanna talk to you about that in just a minute. But see, this was more than about just the woman. So it took, it, it, Jacob touched a lot of wells in his, uh, in his, in his sojourning. And, and I had to find the right one, the one that was this one. And it took a while, but I'm telling you, Jacob did some stuff to some wells, and Jacob knew how to build an altar. If he didn't know how to do nothing else, he knew how to get somewhere and pray. Mm -hmm. See, see, he almost was like the first David, because, you know, David, David didn't know how to do nothing else. He knew how to get somewhere and pray mm -hmm. and write some stuff out. Come on and present it to the church, the congregation. This is what we're singing today. Hallelujah. Come on. And so then he says that, 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 so he can't, come on, he knew how to make a prophetic song. Uh, come on, and come on, can you, can you play that? Is it in C or is it in D flat? Come on. J D David knew how to do that. If he didn't know how to do nothing else. And so it says that Jacob's well was there and Jesus, tired as he was from the journey, sat down by the well mm -hmm. and it was about noon. This is why we need to be praying for, you need to, you need to be praying for your leader and we need to be praying for the leaders because if the leader needs a drink, who going to give the leader the drink? You see, who, who, who is going to fulfill the drink for the leader? And if the leader can't get the drink, then he can't give, she can't give you a drink. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. See, we, we can always say that, you know, I'm leaving because I'm not being fed. We can always say that. We, we won't say that in our church because that would be a bald-faced lie. But we can always say I'm leaving because I'm not getting fed. Well, if you don't pray for the leader, then you won't, the leader can't feed you. Right. If you can't see the leader's need, then how do you expect for them to see your need all the time? Who are you? Right. If it's a body, if the arm goes out, if the left arm goes out, then the right arm needs to work. And yeah. then we need to wait till this one get healed so it can work again together. Yeah. We need to be praying for him. And so then he says that, that Jesus needed a drink here. This is what the Lord was sharing with me. Refresh. I, I once more, I need to go back to Galilee, but I need to just take a detour because I know what I need right here. The Bible says that Jesus was tired from the journey and he sat by the well. Let's go to 33 real quick. No, let's not. Let's stay where we at. And so, so 
So he says that 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 Jesus needed a drink. I I I you know what I got to go. I'm not even see see how Jesus didn't even say anything. He said the Bible says so he left back there where the Pharisees were. Let my purpose speak for itself. See, sometimes you gotta let your purpose speak for itself. When your mama don't understand it, your daddy don't understand, because it's a lot of stuff right now my family don't understand. My mama just called, she was sounding all funny and stuff. But where you at, where you been? See, with my purpose has to speak for itself. When you see it, you'll understand. You may not see it today. But when, when you do see it, you'll understand. Your purpose has to speak for itself. So then the Bible says that when a Samaritan woman came to draw water, my God, Jesus said to her, will you give me a drink? Will you give me a drink? Samaritan woman, Jesus was, was he a Jew? So he says that his disciples had gone into the town to buy food. Uh, 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 and, and the Samaritan woman said to him, you are a Jew. And I am a Samaritan woman. See, how can you ask me for a drink? For Jews do not associate with Samaritans. See, Jesus crossed cultural lines here. Come on. He crossed cultural lines because a thirst is thirst. I don't care if you black, white, Jew, Samaritan, Hebrew, what. I'm thirsty. Can you give me a drink? Right. Help is help. See, when the woman came to Jesus and he said, she said, Lord, help me. He said, I'm not here for you. Right. I'm here for the lost sheep of Israel. She said, right. I need help. Right. I need help. Men, men, women weren't even supposed to approach men like that, but help is help. Right. So that's right. why I'm believing that way. You know, it's, you come on here, you come up here, woman of God, and touch her stomach while I pray through your hand to her. Now, the devil is alive. Prayer is prayer. If you're going to lay hands, you're going to lay hands. You come up here, man, so you can touch. You can touch this one, this 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 man. So I won't, I won't offend. No, prayer is prayer. Right. We need to stop that foolishness. Help is help. So Jesus crossed cultural lines here. He said, "Listen, I thirst. I, 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 will you give me a drink?" The Bible. He already told you he was tired. The woman said, "You are a Jew. I am a Samaritan. How can you ask me?" He, she she didn't say I was Samaritan. She said I'm a Samaritan woman. Mm-hmm. So not only am I of the wrong uh, 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 cultural, I'm the wrong gender. Yeah. This is this this is here. This is a whites only uh, fountain. This is a Negroes only fountain. This is a Samaritan only fountain. You don't ask for no water from here. Thirst is thirst. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Help is help. Mm-hmm. So then Jesus answered her and said, "This is the part that I love right here." <laughs> he said, "If you knew the gift of God and who it was and who who it is that asked you for a drink, you would have asked him." And he would have given you living water. You don't even know that I've come all this way just for you. You don't come even on. know that, 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 that I've come all this way to pull you out of the mess that you're in now. You don't even know that, 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 that I've come all this way to let you know the man you with now is not your husband. You don't even know that, that I've come all this way. Who were you expecting? What were you expecting? Why did you come at this time? You don't even know. I was going to Galilee, but I came through here just to meet with you. You don't even know. You don't even know the gift of God. You don't even know that you're talking to the gift. You don't even know that I knew you were praying for me to come, but I'm here now. You didn't even know that. And so then he says that he, she, she, he says, he says, sir, she said, sir, the woman said, you have nothing to draw with and the well is deep. Where, where, where can you get this living water? She didn't even know. Did, did you realize sometimes we are so much in mess that you don't even realize that Jesus is with us? We don't even, she didn't even know that she was talking to the coming Messiah. Right. We, sometimes we are so messed up in our own self and in our own stuff, we don't even realize that God said, if you make your bed in hell, there I'll be there also. If you make it among angels, I'll be there with you. We don't even realize that he loves us that much. We don't even feel like we're worthy enough to talk to him. Here she is talking to the Messiah here, the one she prayed about, the one the Samaritans shunned from. But you don't even know you're talking to him. We, we go to other, we go to all other areas to try to find him. You ever go to a church service because you just feel like, oh, I just need to be in the house of the Lord, in the presence of God. Make the presence where you are. Mm-hmm. You can make the presence of the Lord appear in the bathroom. Make the presence where you are. We don't know how to do that. We don't know how to do that because we're so messed up. But I'm going to tell you right now, the, the, I was reading this morning because I missed prayer and I needed to get some extra sleep. But, but the Lord, when I woke up, the Lord told me, he said, earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. You have no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. 
we don't talk to them enough. We don't let them know what the sorrows are. We try to handle it on our own, and that's pride. So she says here that, that you have nothing to draw from the well. The well is so deep. Where can you get where, where, where can you get this living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob who gave us this well and drank from it himself and, and as it did his sons also give us livestock? Go to Genesis thirty three nineteen real quick so I can show you what the well is all about so you won't be ignorant of that because I, I, I bear not that you be ignorant about it because we really need to know. I was like, God, I was searching for the well forever. I said, God, where is this particular well? I thought it was in Genesis 19. Then I looked in Genesis 16. No, it's, it's in Genesis 33. Same area. Now we know the story about Jacob and how he came back. This is what the 33 and, and 19. It deals with when he came from, from dealing with his brother Esau. Came back into Canaan. I know the feeling. I know the feeling, sir. I absolutely know the feeling. It's heart wrenching. 33 and 19. It says that, and he brought a parcel of a field where he had spread his tent and at the hand of the children of Hamar, Sheshem's father, for a hundred pieces of, of money. And he erected there at an altar called Elohi Israel, meaning it's translated the God of Israel. So what, what makes you feel like Jesus? See, this is the part that I love right here. Jesus, the savior of the world, went to sit Next to the God of Israel because he needed a drink. And here comes this woman coming to sit, to, to draw drink from, draw water from the God of Israel at the hand of the Messiah. Do you do y'all see that? Mm -hmm. if, if he needed something, then so did she. So we both need something from the well that Jacob, that, that Jacob worshipped that and called the God of Israel. And so, so, so what happens is, 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 is the Lord told me that there was a resting place. It was a residence for Jacob. And it was a residence after being away from, for decades. I'm back home. I'm back home to, to get my birthright. I'm back home to fulfill the call of God that was on my life. Even though my mama tried to trick me, it, it, it was all God. See, Rebecca tricked him. It was all God. It's still all good. My brother still loves me. Everything is still all right. That's, this is the well that we're going to offer up unto God. The Bible says that she said the well was deep. How are you going to draw water from it? Now, notice he, she ain't gave him a drink yet. The man is still thirsty. Notice that. Notice she ain't gave him another drink yet. Jesus answered, everyone who drinks this water will be, will, will, will never, will be thirsty again. He's pointing to the well, I assume. But whoever drinks of the water that I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will be will become will be in them will become in them a, a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Here are things that may affect your welling up. And this is really I, I want you to look at this. The amount of precipitation that you that you that you give your will. Ha 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 how much precipitation is rain, snow, sleet, that kind of stuff. What, what how how are you making it rain? Come on, we're not talking about those trip club with no money. I'm talking about how are you making it rain on your life? Come on. How, how, how are you how are you allowing the Lord to breathe on you? And and how 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 are you allowing the well to spring up in you so that you won't thirst again? Come mm -hmm. on. And so mm -hmm. it says, How often does it rain on me? That's what you need to be asking yourself. How often does it rain on me, God? How often do I I let the clouds roll in and just rain. You know how much time it takes for the clouds to roll in? They say rain is coming, and it may be a little later on in the evening, maybe tomorrow, but they say rain is coming. We got to wait on the rain. Mm -hmm. Indians prayed for rain. They had a rain dance and everything. How often do we allow the Lord to just rain on our life? That, that, that's what causes your well to dry up because you don't have any rain. That's what causes you not to get any water because you don't have any rain. Your precipitation is low. Mm -hmm. You live in a valley. Come on, you got to get out of the valley and get somewhere where there's precipitation and so that, the, that there can be rain falling on you repeatedly. It, it, your, your prayer life is, is part of your precipitation. Come on. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, and your, am I asking for rain? Or what, what are my prayer points? Am I praying for the right things? Am I asking for God to rain on my life? Am I asking for him to God? God, make it rain on me. Shower down on me, God. Fill me with your spirit, oh God. Am I asking him to do that for me? Or do I have the same stale or prayer? I don't care if you pray every day, three times a day. Stale prayers are stale prayers. I don't care if you have a prayer partner. Stale prayers are stale prayers. That's real. If I pray what I prayed yesterday today, I still have a stale prayer. If I'm not reaching heaven, then I might as well shut up. 
We need precipitation. The, the, the size of the spring of the outlet. I looked at this. I said, God, what would affect a spring? What would dry up a spring? Bible said, uh, I mean, when I looked it up, the, the, the encyclopedia said, a famine can't even dry up a spring. Right. If the water going to flow, the water going to flow. Right. And if the water continues to flow, there won't be no famine. Right. Because water exercises, it breeds life. That's what it, it makes things grow. So it makes plants grow. It brings about fish and animals because everybody needs a drink. Come on. And so, so right in here it says that the size of the spring outlet, how big is it? What, what makes it larger? What, 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 what makes the spring outlet larger? Come on, when the water begins to flow, it, you know how the, the, the mountains are formed, they just form their own way because of the rain and how everything has just carved, nature just carves itself, God just takes his hand and works it out like that. Well, the spring, you know, you notice how the water flows out of this because the, it, there's a hole here. But if the hole is gone, it gets larger and larger. Why? Because the water has a constant flow. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Your well should have a constant flow. There should be a constant spring coming out of you. Should never be empty. Why are Christians so empty today? Because the well is not big enough. You're not digging. You're not digging. Mm -hmm. we, we don't have, we're not in a place where precipitation can be. Mm -hmm. We're in the valley. Whole lot of stuff happens in the valley that, 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 that does not need to happen to the Christian. And so what makes it larger and how often do I dig? Well, how do you dig it? and how do you make it larger? You make it larger with your worship. You, 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 you dig with your praise. You make it larger. You make it big when you start to magnify him and let him know he's the God of your salvation. You start to magnify him and let him know, oh, God of Israel, how I need you. So you start to when you start to magnify him, that's what makes the well big. That's what makes the spring. Come on out. Come on out. So it says another thing that causes a problem with the spring and, 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 and that, that affects the welling up are sinkholes. I looked this up because sinkholes are my fault. Oh, my God. Sinkholes are just what it says. It's a sinkhole. Sinkholes are my fault. How, 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 does the, how do the sinkholes get in? Through sin. Sin causes the sinkhole. Whoop, you go right down the hole. Nothing. You're empty. Sinkholes are my fault. Why do I have so many husbands? The woman had a lot of husbands. We're going to get to that in a minute. Why, why do I have so much sin? Why, why can't I let, why can't I stop doing this? Why can't I stop doing that? That's a sinkhole that you have not asked the Lord to dry up. You have not asked the Lord, excuse me, to rain on. It's already dry, but you haven't asked him to rain on that and fill up that sinkhole and fill you up to full and over. You haven't asked him to do that. See, why don't I visit the well? Till I, 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 till a certain hour. Why, why don't I? Why do? Why? Why was? Why was I coming at twelve? How did I know that Jesus was going to be there? I didn't think anybody would be there at twelve. That's not the hour that we get water. They, the, 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 the Old Testament talked about them getting water late in the afternoon when the sun went down. So three, four, five o'clock. It's twelve o'clock. You at the well? You don't want nobody to see you. Because you have a man in your home now that's not your husband. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, and, and you've slept with a lot of the townsmen. And, 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 and so you don't want anybody to see you. See, sin keeps you isolated. Mm -hmm. It keeps you in a place where you cannot come out. Mm -hmm. Keeps you in a place where you are, you, you stay in bondage. See, but Jesus said, I need to go through, through Samaria to side child because I'm trying to get to Galilee because I want to bless you. See, this is this is what happens here. This is why he needed a drink, because he needed to also give a drink. Come on. He also need also be the drink. Come on. I am the beverage. And so then he says, why don't why? Why aren't I thirsty for any more water? Come on. Why, why are not I thirsty for any more water? You notice how you go to church service and you get filled. You get, you know, you get your lip filled. Who that was good. Who that was. I'm drunk. Off of wine. Yes, your one touch. That's it. You get one touch, that's it. No, you need to, he said you need to have a repeat. The well needs to be in you, springing out all the time, springing out all the time. That's why we can stay in worship for two hours. That's why people can stay in worship for two, three hours, because that well mm -hmm. just doesn't run dry. Right. Come on, the sweat comes out, the songs come out, ain't nobody hoarse, ain't nobody talking about, ooh, we done, we done, just stop playing. No, because there's a well that has to be opened up. Come on, just like the woman with the alabaster box. Had to be open. My most precious gift has to be open, and it's the well that's springing out of me. But if I begin to sin, the well dries up. It get me, a sinkhole occurs. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Why? Why? Why am I not going to the well? See, you, the, the water is there, but where are you? Where are you? The well is there, but where are you? Are you going to come to the well when you need to come to the well? 
We don't come to the well sometimes like she came at a certain hour because she, she didn't think that Jesus would be there at that time, but he tricked her. He had something for her. I want to deliver you in this service. Mm -hmm. That's what he was saying. And so then he says here, what, what am I drinking? Are we drinking Sprite and Pepsi? Are we not drinking water? See, water heals. What is it? Hydrogen? Two, H2O, hydrogen, uh, 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 something something else? Hydrogen and oxygen. There it is right there. I thought it was oxidine or something, but anyway, hydrogen that might, might kill us. But hydrogen and oxygen uh, 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 is, is refreshing to us. Yeah. Water is refreshing to us. What are we drinking? Are we drinking the wine of this world? Or are we drinking the refreshing water that Jesus on, can yeah. only offer? Come on. Yeah. Come on, what are we drinking? What's in our bottles? What's in, what's in our bottles? What are we drinking? What's, what's in our buckets? As she said, you don't have a bucket it says, to, to draw from. This is a deep well, sir. You don't have a, what's, what you dipping out with your bucket? You dipping out dirt because you're dirty? Come on. We need to understand that. And so my water may be underground. Because see, that's another thing that could, the water could be bursting out, but it could be underground. Underground. Yeah. But you, what you need to do is ask the Lord to bloop, open me up, God. I call my master. Open up my sister and pour it out of me. Yeah. Pour out my ideas. Pour out my identity. Pour out who I am in you, oh God, so that the world can know you and yeah. not me. See, that's that's how you get. That's how your name gets great when your sister opens up. Mm. That that's how your name gets great when that underground worship comes to the forefront, so that mm -hmm. everybody can have a drink of that water that you've been thirsting on. Yeah. Come on. That's real. I was looking at Hillsong today and I looked at some of their some of their videos. I mean, a whole stadium just full of people drinking off of that water. I said, oh, my God, there's full of people drinking. I was looking at William McDowell. The people were standing up for four hours, four hours at a concert drinking that water. I said, my God, from Zion, wow. drinking that water. Musicians weren't tired. Everybody was standing up. You see, that's the kind of water that you don't thirst again from. Right. See, we need right. to experience that. That's why I was singing that song, The Sign of Heaven Touching Earth. See, when heaven touches earth, you don't get tired. Right. When heaven touches earth, you don't get thirsty because you're full. The spring, the well spring just opens up. Right. See, there are no sinkholes. The sinkholes are full now. Mm -hmm. See, the sinners can get saved now. See, 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 you can come out of degradation in a four hours worship service. Mm -hmm. Real talk, you can move, you can leave there and, and, and be saved and dedicated. You can spend the night in the church for with a four hour work. Come on, I, I, I dream of that guy. We spending the night in church. Come on. The, the mic's still on. The, the music's still playing. I dream of that, that those days. I dream of that because we need heaven to touch earth for real. It, the, the, the cast and crowns wrote that song four years ago. We never needed you, God. It's now. We, we need that. We need that. I bet your gangbanger coming in and drop all kind of Uzis off right at the altar. My God. See, we need that. Mm -hmm. We need that. I bet you a transsexual will come in and change their life right there. Come on, change my nature, God, right here in this four-hour worship service. We need that. We need that. We need that. A harlot will come in and change your whole life. Take these shoes, take this skirt, and save my soul. We need that. Yeah, we do. We need that. An abuser, a man that's an abuser will come in and say, this anger is gone. These emotions are gone. I, we, we need that. Pedophiles will come in and get saved, set free, and delivered. We need that. We need that water. She needed this water. And so it says, Jesus, the woman said to him, sir, sir, Give me this water so that I won't I won't get thirsty and I have to keep coming here to. And so I don't have to keep coming here to draw water. She still didn't get the concept. Still didn't get the concept. Listen, this ain't no arrowhead spring that you put in your house. And then we just come drop bottles off on every Tuesday. That's not what this is. This is a water that's going to give you eternal life, eternal, e e eternal treasures. And she still didn't get the concept. Let put the thing in my house. so I won't have to come out here. That's not what this, this ain't sparklets. Come on, this is a wellspring of life. So right. he said that the, 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 he said he and, and, and the Bible says that he told her, go call your husband and then come back. See that the, the prophetic right here. What did I put there? The prophetic uh, the, uh, uh, office at work once Third yet again, yeah. yet again, the prophetic office was at work because Jesus wasn't, wasn't playing with these people. And I appreciate that about Jesus. He said, look, go call your husband and uh, come on back and get the information. And so she said, I have no husband. And then he said to her, you are right. And, and, and when you say you have no husband, the fact is, is that you have five husbands. You've had five husbands and the man you have now is not your husband. What you have found, what you have, what you have, um, I just said is quite true. And then she said, sir, the woman said, I can see that you are a prophet. You ever, you ever be around people who they have to really try your spirit like that? 
they really have to figure it out that you're a man of God or a woman of God. And they, 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 Jesus had so much patience with her right in here, but I believe he was getting a little antsy right here because you don't even know who I am. Still haven't given him a drink. Right. You still ain't gave me nothing. I told you I was thirsty. I told you I was tired. Still ain't gave him nothing. But see, the thing about it is, that, and what I love about it is when you're a leader, you, you can be tired and you can be thirsty, but you can still find a drink within. Come mm -hmm. on, because your well is never supposed to run out. When your well run out, we got a problem. Come on. Yeah. My, you see my well running low? We got a problem. Yeah, I'm talking about running low. We got a problem. Not run out because it shouldn't run out. But if it's running low, we got a problem. You should always have water if you're a leader. You don't have no water, then you ain't a leader. You know, if we tell you Saturday night you got to preach Sunday and you don't have a word, then you ain't no leader. Because you should always have a word. You should always have a drink of water to give to somebody because you should always be full. It's a leadership class. That's that Nehemiah <laughs> ministries uh, that, 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 that we're gonna that we're gonna get going on here. Because we, we have got to have that. Because the leaders, if the leader dies, then the church dies. And if the church dies, the body goes. And when he comes back looking for a church, where will you be? He says here, you are right. No, she says, sir, the woman said, I can see that you are a prophet. You get all, now, all of this is 10 verses in. You can see now that I'm a prophet. Our ancestors worshiped on this mountain. But you Jews claim, you see there, she still don't even know. You're just a prophet. See, that's why these people get these misconceptions that Jesus was just a prophet. No, he was more than that. And she getting ready to find out. He said, I can, she said, but you Jews claim that the place where we must worship is in Jerusalem. See, this is again, congregated, segregated worship. It's a segregated worship. Traditions and religious customs because this is, this, you, y'all, we, y'all said we can only worship in Jerusalem. How we are, what you want me to do? Worship you at this well right here? We can't have no church service outside. We got to be in the building. We can't have a church service in your house. We got to be in the building. Y'all got a kitchen, everything is sitting in there, and we finna have a church service. No, we got to be in the building, honey. Mm -hmm. Now, I got to go outside to the bathroom, not in your house. Come on, we don't believe like that anymore. The Bible says in the New Testament that they started churches in their homes. Yeah. And daily, that the people, that the, they were, uh, 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 thousands were added to the church daily. Because mm -hmm. they came out with some wellsprings. Come on, who wants to be saved? Mm -hmm. Come on, who believes in Jesus? Come on, we walk, we walk with him. We talk with him. Thousands were added. See, those are the days that we're coming back to. Ain't nobody going to come in the church like that. and get. They're not going to come in the building. Like they're looking for you to be the church right there in the Walmart parking lot. Yeah, they're looking on. for you to be the church right there in Target Park. They're looking come for on. you to be the church. That's why we can't get distracted. I know we got a lot of stuff going on in the community. We got a lot of stuff going on in the church, but we can't get distracted with that. I'm talking about the real church. We can't get distracted with that. And you already know I'm down for the cause. But we, I can't get distracted with that because there's a real enemy that's out to distract us, to take our focus off one thing and put it on another. And right now, somebody needs a drink of water. Black, white, Hispanic, Samaritan, Jew, they need a drink of water. Mm -hmm. And they need to be able to come to the well that's in you. Come on, you become the well now. Come on. And so it says here that, that she says, woman, Jesus replied. I believe he was getting angry right in here. Woman, believe me. A time is coming when you will worship the Father. When, 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 you, when, when you will worship Father, the Father, neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. Come on, you're going to worship him at Walmart and at Target. Come on, you're going to worship him in Dillard's in the, in the dressing room, telling somebody about the wonderful, wonderful power of Jesus Christ. You, you, neither, this mountain or nor in Jerusalem. And you Samaritans worship that you, you don't even know. We worship what we do know. Come on, we worship what we do know. Y'all worship what you don't even know. For salvation is from the Jews. Yet a time has come. Did you see that? For salvation is from the Jews. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Segregated worship. Jesus was trying to let her know where it comes. You calling me a Jew. You calling me out my name. But salvation is from the Jews, baby. Just so you know. And so then she says, yet a time. He says, yet a time is coming now when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For they are the kind of worshipers the Father seeks. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. They are the kind of worshipers the Father seeks, the ones with the water. When, when, when are the real worshipers? Where, where, where are they that, 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 that can really make it rain? Come on. We're not, now I'm not talking about the strippers that can shake that thing and you raining money on them. I'm talking about the real worshipers that can really. Really make it rain. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. that can really open up a service and, 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 and really make it rain down. We don't even need the preacher. We don't need anything else. We need the glory of the Lord to blanket the place. Come on. Where are the real worshipers? When will they come for? The, I'm talking about the ones that will worship in spirit, the, the in spirit and in truth worshipers. Where are they? Who, who know the truth and who know the real spirit, the capital S spirit. When, 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 we, when, when the worshipers, when, when, we, when we begin to worship in spirit and in truth, something happens. Come on, something happens. Healings take place. I believe if AIDS is present in the building, it will take place. If, 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 if cancer is present in the building, when, when we start to worship in, in spirit and in truth, mm-hmm. something will happen that we won't be able to explain. I don't think y'all understand what I'm saying. We have got to get there. We keep expecting God to do it, but he just told you, you got to do it. You got to come to the well. Come on. You got to run to the water because that's where the healing is. Mm -hmm. That's where it is. Mm -hmm. That's where it is. He says, God is a spirit and his worshipers must worship him in the spirit and in truth. In the spirit and in truth. See, we, we read that one scripture and we're done. We done. When we, we, the time should come, we should worship in spirit and in truth. But do you know that? He says in the spirit, at the capital S, and in truth. In truth. And so the woman said, I know that Messiah called Christ is coming. When he comes, he will explain everything to us. She still didn't know who he was. Still didn't know who he was. Now he done set up here and prophesied to you and told you all this stuff. And you still don't know who he is. Right. And you still ain't gave him nothing to drink. Told you he was tired. He told you he was thirsty. He asked you for a drink. You still ain't got your drink yet. Because you still you, you still ain't pumped your water yet because you's talking to this man. Mm-hmm. See, the thing about this woman to me, you used to talk to the man because you got one in the bed right now. Mm-hmm. You used to flirt and current on. That's what you do. You used to being old harlot and smiling and carrying on looking all up in the next man's face. That's why you didn't recognize who Jesus was. See, when you meet a woman like that in the store, you tell her, you look nice. And she goes, oh, thank you. Don't recognize it because you get that all the time from you used to doing that to men. I'm not that man, no. I'm just saying you look nice today. My sister, God bless you. Now, she's looking for something else. Mm-hmm. See, that desperation leads you not to, the desperation leads your eyes not to really be open. Mm-hmm. You'll get the first thing that you get, and that's just going to be that. And so she says that. The disciples come back to see Jesus. Just then his disciples returned and were surprised to find him talking to the woman. You see that racist? Right. Racist. What you done talking to her? Who is that? Now we, we, we don't care about you talking to these sinners and publicans and stuff like that. But what you doing talking to her? That's a Samaritan. Mm-hmm. You kidding me? See? At the well. Jesus crossed cultural barriers. That helped me out because you know I'm not interested. Amen. And so then he says that, 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 that they were surprised to see him talking to with this woman. But no one asked, what do you want or, or, or why are you talking to her? I'm sure they said it amongst themselves, though. Mm-hmm. And so then leaving her water jar, the woman went back to the town and said to the people, now, did she come to get water? Mm-hmm. And she kept leaving him, then leaving her. Wait, wait a minute. Did I miss something? Yes. He said, when he comes, he will explain everything to us. That's what she said. In verse 26, it says, then Jesus declared. Come on, he made a declaration to her. I, the one speaking to you. am he. I am he. Come on. Come on. (laughs) Oh, my God. I am the Messiah. You you, you think that he's coming. I'm here. Come on. I am he. I, 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 I have come, daughter. Is what he, oh my God. And so then he says that, 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 leaving her water jar, the woman went back to the town and said to the people, come see a man who told me everything I ever did. Could, could, could this be the Messiah? They came out of the town and made their way toward him. Come on, just from what this woman said, how credible was she? But did she go back with a praise? I believe she did what Tasha Cobb's song said and put a praise on that. Yeah. Look, I need to go back and let them know who, who, who was here. The Messiah is here. Come on, he's here. He is here. Honey, you need to come out and see this man who told me about myself. And, 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 and could this be the coming Messiah that we've been praying about? Could this be the one that we've been hearing about? He right over here by Jacob's well. And so, so meanwhile, his disciples urged him, Rabbi, eat something. See, Jesus was a fasting man. He hadn't ate nothing and he had walked all this way. But he said to them, I have food to eat that you know nothing about. Come on, that's the part I like right there. My God. 
I have food to eat. You don't know nothing about what I don't eat. Come on. I, 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 my purpose is feeding me is what he said. Come on. Sometimes you got to let your purpose feed you. When you get on a real fast, your purpose will feed you. What they got over there? Mm, amen. God bless. And you gone the other way. You don't even smell food no more. Come on. Your purpose begins to feed you. That's real. They went to get food and he was like, oh, I, I, oh, I, my pur- I got something that I'm eating on. You don't even know nothing about this. And so, but he said, then his disciples said to each other, because someone had brought him food, they were slow. They had a slow spirit. Some of the disciples was kind of retarded because someone had brought him food. He's the Messiah. He can make some food. He can snap it. A bread can, piece of bread can be in his hand. Right. Did nobody bring him no food? I got food to eat. You don't know nothing about Move back. Ministering right now. Right. I'm the Messiah. She looking for me. I got to go get her. And so then he says, my food, said Jesus, is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. Come on. I need to finish his work so I'm not hungry. I don't hunger like that. I'm good. And so then he said, don't you have, don't, don't you have a saying? It, it, it's still four months until harvest. I tell you, open your eyes and look at the fields. They are ripe for harvest. Even now, the one who, who, who reaps draws a wage and harvests a crop for eternal life so that the sower and the reaper may be glad together. Come on. That's the saying one sows and another reaps is true. I'm sowing the seed here so that she can reap a harvest in her life. And so I sent you to reap what you have not worked for. Others have done the hard work and you have reaped for the bene- from the benefits of their labor. You see that? You see that? I I, I, I see you at the well is what I like to say. See you at the well. Many Samaritans believe that. that, Am I skipping something? Because I I, I got extremely excited about that right there. Where where, where are you at in your worship? Uh, See, see, see. Where where are you at? Are you drawing from the well or are you coming to the well? What what, what are you doing? What, 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 What are you using your water for? Come on, because once you get out of a Sunday service, what you doing after that? Once you get out of a powerful worship service, okay, my one friend of mine went to see Tasha Cobbs, and she and I was looking at the snippets from the concert. I said, "Ooh, my God, that thing! Ooh, she looked like she did it that day." And then a couple of hours later, I saw her post on Facebook. Well, what did you do with all the water that you just drank? What'd you do with the water? Because I, Tasha Cobbs had the water. They, I mean, they was in there. People was falling out, and they, they, I'm talking. About this is a worship concert. Wasn't no hoarseness. Wasn't nobody getting tired. Come on. Musicians weren't tired. Wasn't no music track. Come on. This was like the, the Beyonce thing I'm telling you about. Two hours plus. Come on. Put the praise on it. Saw her Facebook post after that. What are you doing with your water? Mm-hmm. What are you doing? What, what, what happened after you came back from the well? What, what, what happened? What happened to you? And so he says here that the, 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 the many Samaritans came back and they begin to believe. He says, many of the Samaritans from the town believed in him because of the woman's testimony. See, the, the, the testimony is something else. She came and testified. They do, why would they believe her? Look how messed up she was. Mm-hmm. She had four men. Some of them could have been the one she was talking to. She had probably could have been with them. And then she had one in the house. Come on, she was messed up. When a messed up person tells you Jesus saves, then you believe that. Come on, just like we was talking to my brother Freddie last week, but he used to cry for the son of David. Come on, we I believe that. I don't care how much crack he had smoked. Come on, he needed the son of David to deliver him. And he knew who the son of David was, and you didn't. Right. And you've been in church all your life. And he had just smoked some this morning. Come on. I can see it on him sometimes. It's mine. You've been in church all your life. You don't even know who the son of David is. You're probably just not hearing that phrase. Right. So he said, he told me everything I ever did. She said, he told me everything I ever did. So when the Samaritans came to him and they urged him to stay with them and, and, and he stayed for two days. Come on, this was not a part of the plan, but it was a part of the plan. Mm-hmm. See, the disciples probably got, they, they were so slow, they didn't even know what was going on. I thought we were going into Galilee. Why are we still here? Well, because there's purpose here for me. Right. I'm the Messiah that they've been waiting on. And she's gone and I only I only needed one. See how he left the 99? I left all of those, but I need to go get this one so that this one can set this whole city on fire. Yeah. He stayed for two days, and because of his words, so many more became believers. Because of his words, so many more became because of his words. So many more became of believers. And see, in this last day and in this age and in these wicked and evil days, because of his word, the people need to become believers. And if you don't know the word, 
then you won't gain any believers. The church won't gain people. To, to the, they, they won't come to the church because you're not speaking the word. Mm -hmm. And so because of his word, so many more people became believers. And then they, they said to the woman, we no longer believe just because of what you said. Come on, we've got our own proof. Now we have heard for ourselves and we know that this man is really the savior of the world. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. You need to tell some. See, I can't wait for the day to the church. We can have a meet me at the well time at 12 noon. You know how they have 12 noon Bible study. 12 they they have. Some people don't even know why they do that. They do that because at noon is when this woman's life was changed. Meet me at the well. I looked at that. I said, we need to have a meet me at the well hour. Come on, we need to have a, a meet me at the well time. Uh, what else did I say? All because of a trip to the well, noonday prayer. Take a take a trip with me to the well. Come 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 meet me at the well. Hashtag meet me at the well. Come on, you get out of Sunday church. All right, girl, meet meet me at the well. Come on, I I, I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that because because do, do, do we do we have a testimony about the well? How how how, how soon will you get to the well and go back and tell others what he has done for you? What, what, what? Uh, he says, I am he. In other words, I am here. You can stop searching. You can stop waiting uh, on the coming Messiah. I have come. I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm here. Whatever questions you have for me, I can answer them. Come on. Yeah. He had a QA and a service right there for him. Whatever questions you have. See, that, that's what, that's the, that's the kind of day it is now. Gone are the days when we talking about Bishop Boogaloo coming in at 3 p.m. No, that's not it. People don't need to hear from Bishop Boogaloo. They need to hear from Jesus. Right, right, right. And if you're going to be Jesus, you need to know Jesus. And if you're going to know him, you need to know his word. That's what saves souls. The Bible said, did this, what did it say here? Because of his words, many more became believers. Mm -hmm. Have to preach the word of God. Yeah. Not your word, not your opinion. The word, of God, the word of God, which takes your water well enough so you can have study time. I was so mad that I was like, would y'all just shut up? This is how I know. You know when you become, you need to become full-time man. I'm like, God, give me provision for the vision because I can't take this madness no more. Just hush. Who, what? Did she see the email? I'm busy. Come on, because I was doing something. I was working on kingdom business. I talked to y'all tomorrow. I'm doing something here. Who? I, I'm, not, no, I didn't, I'm not going to the meeting. I'm good. I got the email. I understand it. Come on. I look at I read the email tomorrow and understand it better by and by like the old people said. But today I'm doing something. Come on. I needed a drink today. I needed God to rain on me today. I needed him to breathe on me and shower down on me. Some things come in your life. They come to try to wipe you out. Yeah. And you gotta let the you gotta let the enemy know. Listen, you're not gonna wipe me out. You know why? Because I'm getting ready to get up and go to this well so I can get me something to drink, right? So right. that I can be fulfilled. And when I get to the well, I'm gonna fulfill destiny. This woman fulfilled purpose in life because what she did, she went and added to the church. Come mm -hmm. on, come on. She went and added to the church. She fulfilled purpose. Come on, she was an evangelist. If we if we want to say that, she went and testified about this man. Come see a man who told me everything mm -hmm. that I ever I ever knew. Okay. Come on, I've ever did. I've ever done. Come on, she had a she had a trumpet that she blew in Zion right there. A trumpet she blew in Samaria. These people weren't Jews. They didn't believe in Jesus. They believed in the Messiah. They didn't even know he was coming. And some people still stuck in a Samaritan state of mind who's still waiting on the Messiah. He's come and gone and he lives again. Come on. And they still don't even recognize him. But I decree and declare that when we, as, as we, excuse me, launch out, that the Lord will send those lost sheep right into our bosom. Right into our midst. He said all crossing cultural bounds is what he did here. He crossed cultural bounds. We have to understand the sheep don't come by color. Come on. The sheep come spotted. They come worn out. That's just because of their bloodline. It has nothing to do with their race creed. That just because that's in their bloodline. Come on. That's because somebody mixed something. But there's still a sheep that need to come into the pasture. They need to come in back into the fold. And we need, to, we need God to do the same thing he's doing for us to do for them. That's what we need. That's what we need. And so when, when you look at that, I want you to understand that you need to, you, he needs to, meet, you need to meet him at the well. You need to get to the well as soon as you can. You need to run to the water. You, 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 you need to run to the water. I want you to look at the bottom. It says, what do I need to do to increase precipitation in my life? Remember, the precipitation is, 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 is the rain, the, 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 the sleep, the, the snow. What, what is it that I need to do? What kind of climate do I need to create? Come on. 
you got to create the right climate for the rain to come in. Is it's monsoon, monsoon season now? We ain't seen one yet. Amen. And it's almost the end of July, but or the middle of July, and 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 we haven't seen them out because the climate has not been changed. Do I need to? How do I need to change my climate? See, it's not enough for us just to go to church every Sunday, and we do. It's not enough for us just to work and be on the prayer line. That's not. It's not enough. What do I need to do to change the climate so I can really get the rain that I need? Come on, to save and wash the impurities off of me. That's what. That's what you need. You you need that kind of rain. So so what what do you need to do to increase the precipitation in your life? I need you to. I need you to write that down. I need you to get into that. Because I need you to see that. I need you to understand what you need to do. What do I need to do to increase my prayer life? What do I need to do to really get delivered from that thing? What, what is it that, because see, I had to ask myself. You got to ask yourself that. Well, what do I need to do? And then well, just because you're writing it down and you, you're writing down a little answer from your head, you need to let, let that connect to your heart and do it for real. And do it for real. Am I lazy? Do I not spend enough time in this prayer? Am I not on my face enough? Come on. I know holidays are a great distraction for me because every time a holiday comes, it seems like I, I want to get wrapped up in the presence of the Lord. And it's always something that I have to do or somewhere that I got to be. And it makes me so mad because I want to be in the presence of the Lord. I, let me continue to drink water. What is it that you need to do to increase the precipitation in your life? Need you to write that down. Need you to understand that. You, you, you need to be able to decree and declare that you're going to see miracle signs and work and wonders in your worship. Come on, because that's possible. Miracle signs and wonders in your worship. I'm talking about the kind of stuff when you get out of church, your bank account is ringing with money. Mir- that's a miracle, a sign and a wonder all in one. Just because you've grown precipitation to your to your to your to your life. This is this is past your family because we we pray for them all the time. This is past your family. This is about you. See, they got to get to the well just like you get to get to the well. Got to get to the well, but this is about you. This is about you. <clears throat> After that, we're going to pray. We're going to pray. Because we need the Lord to rain on us. We need the Lord to rain on us. We need him to do something for us that we cannot do for ourselves. And this time, we need to be ready for his people. We need to be prepared for what they're coming in with. Their scars and their wounds. It's just like the time when we first started. The Lord told me we need to be prepared for that. And look at what has happened. You've got bruises, you've got scars that are coming in and we need to be ready for them. They're leaving churches, they're leaving big house churches by the droves and we need to be ready for them. They're leaving, they're coming with questions. Why did this happen and why did that happen? And we need to be ready for them. If we're messed up, we cannot help. But if you have a testimony, you can change the the scope of their thinking, just like this woman changed the scope of the entire town. And they said, listen, stay with us for two more days because we need you. Come on, let's pray. Let your glory fill this house. Let your all-consuming fire fill this tabernacle and purify our hearts. Let your power fill this house. Let your all-consuming fire fill this tabernacle 
and purify our hearts. So rain on us and breathe on us. Shower down, shower down. Fill your spirit, Lord. Rain on us and breathe Shower down, shower down. We need your spirit, Lord. Let your glory fill this house. Let your all-consuming fire fill this tabernacle and purify our hearts. Oh, let your power fill this house and let your all-consuming fire fill this tabernacle and purify our hearts and rain on us and breathe on us shower down Spirit, Lord, we need you. We need your spirit. 
spirit, Lord. Oh, we need you. I need your uh -huh. spirit, Uh-huh. You got it. Come on, you. Lord. Come on, say that. I need it. I need your spirit, Lord. Come on, say that. I need your spirit, Lord. Come on, because that's what you need. I need your spirit, Lord. Come on, you got to open up that cistern and let that out. I need your spirit, Lord. Come on, you got to open that up. I need your spirit, Come on, spirit, open up that well and let that spring come out. Come on, come on. I need your spirit, Lord. I need your spirit, Lord. I need your spirit, Lord. Yes, I do. I need your spirit, Come on, spirit, come on. You got to open up and let him know what you need is spirit. I need oh, your spirit, Oh, what we Lord. need is your spirit. I come on, you got to tear it for this one because you're dry. Come on, you need his spirit. I need your spirit. What you need is his spirit. Come on, you need to be healed. Come on, you got to open up your cistern. Come on, you need his spirit. Yes. I need your spirit. You need his spirit. Yes. I need your spirit. Come on, you need his spirit. Yes. I need your spirit. Come on, you need to open up. Come on, open up. Come on. I need your spirit, Lord. Come on, let him know. I need your spirit. Come on, you need him to live in you right here. Come on, you need him to live in you right here. Yes, you need him. You need him. I need your spirit. Come on, yes, you need him. You need him. I need Come on, we're going to tear him from this one. I need your spirit, Lord. Yes, I do. Come on, you're going to be delivered from that. I need your spirit, Lord. Yes, I do. Come on, you're going to be saved. You're going to be delivered from that. I need your spirit, Lord. Come on, let him know. Come on, you need to be delivered from that. I need your spirit, Lord. Come on, shower down on me, God. I need your spirit, Lord. Shower down on me, God, yes. I need your spirit, Come on, shower down on me, God, yes. I need your spirit, Come on, fill me with the Holy Ghost, I need it. I need your spirit, Fill me with the Holy Ghost, I need it. I need your spirit, Fill me with the Holy Ghost. You need a deposit. 
The enemy has taken all the withdrawals. You need a deposit. You need to live, man. Life awaits you. You need to live, man. Let the cistern open up. Come on, and let the life out. Let the cistern out. Let the life out. You need to live, man. You need to choose. I need you need a tree. Give him a drink, oh God. Give him a drink as he sits by the well. You need to live, man. Come on, man. You need to live. I need your spirit, Deliver him, God. Lord. Deliver him, God. Deliver him, God. Deliver him, God, so he can live. Lord. Deliver him, God, so he can live. I need Deliver him, God, so he can live. The life come out of your belly. Come on, you need to open up the cistern. Open it up so you can live. Open up the portals of glory to him, God. So he can hear you. So he can feel you. So he can follow you. Oh yeah, Oh mama, 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 Come on, we gonna tear. You gonna tear it for this one. Come on, because you are gonna be delivered from that. You need to live. Oh, the devil has snatched all the withdrawals that he has made. All of the false deposits that you have received, but the, the true deposit deposit shall come from the, the Messiah. The true deposit shall come from the Messiah. Oh God, the true deposit shall come from the Messiah. Come on, open up the cistern, man. Come on, oh, come on. Come on, don't just take the top off. Open it up. Open it up. You need a drink. You need to sit by the well. You need to worship at the well. You need to be at the well at all times so you can get the water that you need. Spring forth in the old day spring. 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 Oh God, I need your spirit, Lord. I need you need a spirit. You need a spirit. You need a spirit. Shower the anointing fall on you, God. The dinner, come on, come on. The top is just off. You need to open up the cistern. Come on, it needs to break open. The, the top is just That's not good enough. You need to open it up. The top, you just took the top off. You need to open it up. Open up the cistern so we can fill it up. Open it up so the water can come out. Open it up so the life can come out. Open it up so the life can come out. Rivers of living water. Rivers of living water are in us. And God, we command them to come out today. We command them to come out so that this man can live. Hallelujah. Make a deposit, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on, you just took the top off. Come on, you need to open it up. Come on. Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters. Wherever you will call me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever water. And my faith will be made stronger. Come on. In the presence of Come on. You got to take the top is just off. Open it up. Come on. Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the wall. Open it up. Wherever you would guide me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander. And my faith will be made stronger in the presence of my Savior. Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the wall. Come on, open it up. Wherever you may call me. Take him deeper. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander. My faith will be made stronger in 
the presence of my Savior, and I will call upon your name, like we do right now, God. Keep my eyes above the waves yes. When the oceans rise My soul will rest in your embrace For I am yours You are mine Come on, open it up. You just took the top off. Come on. Spirit, leave me where my trust is without borders let me walk upon the water uh-huh. Wherever yeah. you will call me it will take me deeper than my feet could ever wander And my faith will be made stronger In the presence of my Savior Spirit, leave me where my trust is without borders If you walk upon the waters Wherever you come on, come on, man. call me Come on, take him deeper, God Take me deeper than my feet would ever wander And my faith will be made stronger In the presence of my Savior And I will call for your name Come on, open up, come on, open it up Come on, you're almost there Keep my eyes above the world Come on, come on, come on, come on When oceans rise My soul will rest in your embrace For I am yours And you are mine And I will call upon your name Come on, need to live, man Come on, come on Keep my eyes above the waves When oceans rise My soul will rest in your embrace Let him know, let him know For I am yours Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh And who what? And you are mine For I am yours Come on, that's what's gonna save your soul right there, come on And you are mine Let him know, come on Say, I Come on, let him know right there. And you are. Come on, he said, I am he who has come. I, I am yours. Uh huh, uh huh. And you are mine. Uh-huh. I am yours. Come on, come on, come on, come on, live And man. you are Come on, the rivers of living water. I am yours. And you are mine. I am yours. Uh huh. Let him know. Let him know. And you are mine. Oh, you are mine. You gotta open it up. Come on, oh, 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 oh. you gotta open it up. You have to open it up. You need to live, man. You need to live. You need to live, man. You need to live. Come on, let, let that river come out. Let that river give you life. Bible says rivers of living water are in us. Let it come out, man. You need to live, man. You need to live. Come on, worship gives you life. This water gives you life. He said, you drink this, you will never thirst again. This is an eternal spring, an eternal spring up. And you are mine. I am yours. Oh, yes, I am. God, I belong to you. Messiah, yeah, yeah, 